hello today I would like to show you a very quick way to tell if we've got a problem with the power supply capacitors and as you can see I've got over here a power supply and I was using this on a device and it have a problem because it was unable to supply enough current and the device was like shutting down so we know for a fact the the problem is with the the power supply unit i already opened this because i i need to check what the problem is and there is a problem with the inspection of this device because they are sealed unlike the other devices the other power supply use for example in the industrial environment when we've got a grill or a fan that we can just shine a light and we can see the the capacitors and get a very quick uh, visual inspection do the capacitors are bulge but in that completely sealed power supplies we are unable to do that so we can make uh, two tests basically first of all we can check the voltage if the if the device is supplying a correct voltage to the output and if we if we measure the output voltage is okay this is a, a 9 volt power supply the second test we can we can we can make is basically connect over here a load according to the to the specification this is like a 4 4 amp at 9 volts and we can check if this power supply delivery that over some kind of period of time and if it do not lowering the voltage output and the current is maintained then we can say that power supply is correct but of course that require some time and require uh, equipment require a uh, DC load so there is a uh, other a uh, quick quick way we can just disconnect this from the appliance we can connect this into the the wall and after a while we can just touch it by the hand and that one is uh, really hot and why it's hot when it's not loaded by anything that means that we've got some kind of short in the output capacitors and the the driver the the chopper is trying to feed the current to maintain the voltage and because of the shorted capacitors it was unable to maintain that and that's why it's overheating either when we do not have anything connected so that's a, a very quick very quick and very simple way to to check of course it's it won't fit every need but the basic by short capacitors you can very very easily detect that way so let's see what we've got inside and I already opened that because it's very hard and I was thinking I'm not going to fix that but the lucky me it was glued that way it can be easily put back and if I'm going to add a new glue it will work fine and over here we've got our high voltage caps on the chopper side and this is our output caps and as you can see all three of them they are bulge and we can see some of the electrolyte have been leaked and we just need to replace them and I'm pretty sure that this power supply is going to get a completely new life I have to check do I've got the same do I get exactly the same value so let's try to unsolder this and we are going to check can we fix that on the video because I'm not sure I 
and that could be very nice. We've got our negative and the positive, so that's absolutely not a problem. And what value we we've got over here? One thousand microfarad, sixteen volt. I'm pretty sure that I've got exactly the same value. or maybe even a higher voltage if the form factor but yes I've got a 1016 volt okay so this is the first one that we are going to put do the second one have also 1000 microfarad so that's no problem you can just I managed to cut myself while opening that, but it was worth. It was definitely a good deed to save this device. Because the capacitors are so cheap and we do not need to throw it away. We can make it working again. Okay, so we are going to feed another 1000 microfarad and the small one which I see have a silicon some kind of silicon glue and we have to find the leads for that that looks like over here we've got a transistor and it looks like that's going to be that leads okay the two. Let's try. As you can see, while using the, the soldering station, everything looks so nice. And we've got four four seven zero microfarad. 47 47 let me let me check my supply and we've got 47 microfarad we've got a higher voltage which is absolutely okay to use it's even better you have to just check the polarity the negative is that element okay we're just going to nicely solder it. Let me grab my tool. I think I need a crank the temp a little bit. Okay. I have to inspect it closer. It looks okay. Maybe a little bit too bit. Okay, let's add the another one. Okay, check the negative to the negative. Okay, it will fit. And the other one also the negative to the to the gray dotted part. Just like that. Okay, we're going to bend the leads a little bit. And let's try to let's clean the tip. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, let's see how it looks like. That one is too big, but I'm I'm not going to fix that. I'm pretty sure there are not uh, cold joints or anything. Let's just trim. If I'm going to find a tool for that, yes. And of course, I'm going to grab every single while cutting, we don't want that to fly away so let's take a look as you can see it's looking beautiful every single one it's looking great we're going to put it back Just like that. And we just need to glue it back. Let's try to power it on. And check the output voltage. I can hear it's completely quiet, we do not hear buzzing of the, of the transformer inside, which is ok, because we do not loading it, and we've got the correct voltage, and I'm pretty sure that we fixed that, and it's going to stay completely cool, so that's how it looks like. Thank you very much for watching and as you can see with uh, a very inexpensive part and little little time we save that device and save the planet. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time and bye bye.